We just left Port Hardy. Port Hardy is the northernmost town on Vancouver Island. It is way up towards the top, but it's on the east coast. And we're getting ready to take this long, dusty dirt road all the way to Cape Scott, which is on the west coast. And it is kind of the end of the road for Vancouver Island. So we're here at the beginning of the dirt. We're gonna air down our tires. It's just gonna give us a little better ride quality. Then we'll be able to zip out there to Cape Scott even a little faster. I don't know, this is, um, a, this is a gravel road. It's mostly washboard. I'm gonna take it down to 35 in the front and I think 40 in the rear. And that's, that's still kind of hard for what I would normally do for off-roading. But since this is kind of a higher speed gravel road, I'm looking just to improve ride quality. I think that'll be nice. All right, that's it. Let's hit the road. Well, if you've ever been to the shoe tree on Highway 50, the loneliest highway in Nevada, it is kind of like this, except this is a shoe tree that doesn't have any branches, but it certainly has a lot of shoes. These shoes even kind of overflow onto the ground. They are everywhere. I think these are the boots that the loggers wear to walk around on the slippery logs in the rain in the winter. They wear these spikes. Crazy stuff you find all over the world really, but definitely this is kind of cool to discover. We've been warned by locals that there's these bigger than normal logging trucks that come barreling down this road and you better just give them room because a lot of times they are so loaded they cannot stop fast. So you gotta pretty much stay out of their way and give them the right away. Wow, these are some really big logging trucks. I think they're, they must be custom built. The guy said they're kind of a dying breed, but it is massive. Makes our Sprinter van look tiny. here in Holberg, BC. It's one little tiny town on the way out to Cape Scott. Let's see, we're gonna go in the store and see what they have. This is delightful. Ooh, ice cream. Wow, this was quite a surprise. This place has a lot more to offer than I expected. Good job, Holberg, BC. Nice. Ah, beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ooh, chocolate ice cream. I like the way she scoops. Yeah, big one. I'm getting a root beer float. <laughs> Cheers. I need this for you and you're driving me crazy. <laughs> Just kidding. Kind of. Oh my god, I love root beer floats. Mm. We 
we have made it to this wonderful little recreation area campground that is, gosh, I think we're three minutes from the Cape Scott trailhead in this beautiful old growth. This is a place you'd want to come and just camp anyway, you know, regardless of Cape Scott. But I think when we go three minutes from here over to the trailhead, it is going to be busy. So we're kind of preparing ourselves for a lot of people in this spot that you kind of think might be remote, but word is out on Cape Scott and San Joseph Beach. It is a place that I think a lot of people are coming to see. We're going to go check it out. Hopefully we can get a place to park over there. This has been a really nice place to stay. We talked to a local yesterday and he said a lot of people come in here for the day and don't camp. There are a lot of cars here for eight in the morning. So here we are, we're at the trailhead. We're going to San Joseph Bay. We are parked right here. We just have a short little walk. It doesn't look like it's that far. Guidebook said it's maybe 40 minutes, but it really doesn't look that far. Famous last words. 2.6k, not too bad. If you have too much to carry, the sign says, you can borrow a wheelbarrow. Ingenious. Hey, if you come and you want to bring the kitchen sink, bring a wheelbarrow. Okay, we're not adding this to our standard equipment list. I'm just saying that is a little over the top. <laughs> we can strap a wheelbarrow to the roof of the van. <laughs> That's a branch or a root or a tree. It's big, whatever it is. Okay, we just saw a bear. It was just walking along the beach, feeding on, I don't know what, bugs and things that are in the logs and the seaweed and stuff on the beach. I wanna show you this print in relation to my foot. That's a pretty big bear paw. made it to San Joseph Bay. I feel like this place is really worth the long drive on that super bumpy logging road to get out here. And once you're here, you were rewarded with, I mean, a pretty magnificent seascape. There's these giant sea stacks right over here. They have trees growing off the top of them. There's um, a perfect surf break here. Now the waves aren't that great right now today, but I can see this being a really fun place to come and surf. And to top all that off, you can come and for $10 a night, a person you can camp right on the beach anywhere you want. 
We've pretty much made it to the end of the road for Vancouver Island. We are at the northern point. Thanks again for watching. It really means a lot if you can hit the like and subscribe button down below. Peter Holcomb signing out. Hope to see you somewhere over the horizon. Thank <laughs> you.